Hi everyone. Okay, this is take two. Because for some reason, my phone ran out of space. So, here we go. This is um, what I bought myself until I saw the word Avon. As you know, all my Avon stuff just runs out the door. Just runs out the door. Now have a look at this. This is called cranberry glass. I always get confused. It's called cranberry glass. It's a reddish style. It's absolutely beautiful. Really sweet. Not my style. It's not... <laughs> it would look out of place. Absolutely out of place. So, but it is beautiful. I can't put them all on. And I got a really great price for all this. I can't put them all on together because postage would be just astronomical. So I've clumped them up into um, things. So I did the, the butter dish. This butter dish lid, though, is so heavy. Another thing with, because this comes from a deceased estate, um, you've got to look. Sometimes the dust in them is so bad you can't get them out you can't even put them through the dishwasher it won't work this is in perfect condition now i'm doing this video a lot earlier than normal because we didn't go to the markets this morning my husband and i are actually about ready to take off and go up to tambourine mountains now um so as you can see that set would look absolutely beautiful on Christmas for the people that go all out. Have you met Casey? Casey goes all out, everybody. All out. And it's great. She's never not loved Christmas. Oh, except one year she had food poisoning. Uh, and she blamed me for it. It wasn't even my cooking. It was Hungry Jack's. Um, here we go. Now, remember... The main thing when you're looking for something, don't buy if it's made in China. It's not worth crap. But these steins, this one's Japan. Can you see that? So you look for a stein, you look for... Oh, see what I paint? 50 cents each. Um, you look for Japan, USA and Germany. Now this one is also made in Japan, and that's a set. Now I'm gonna put that on pretty much ASAP because it's a Christmas thing, and it's really quite sweet. Now, as you know, in the last video, I got one of these last week. Put it on, it's gone. Um, the thing is, this one is a little bit more upper class than that one again. Very thick with the gold pattern of uh, wine grape vine, I think it's called. This one is iridescent glass. It's done by Anchor Hopkins, which is a Pyrex. Um, these are in perfect condition. For the age, which is around about the late 60s, early 70s, um, absolutely perfect. Perfect. So, um, then I got, and I had no idea why, but I couldn't help myself, I got all these little miniature Thomas the Tanks. Now, I know nothing about these, absolutely nothing, but they do have a number or something. I don't know how well that's going to pick it up um, on it. Might be the name. So, anyway... I did look it up after I bought them, mind you, and they do sell. These miniatures do sell. These little character things, I just get as fillers in my mystery boxes that I have for kids, which are selling so fast at the moment. Now, I've got Captain America, and I know his name's Captain America because he talks when he wants to. And last night... I was sitting on the couch and he screamed out, Captain America, and I just about shit myself. There is a button 
in with the battery that you can turn off so he doesn't randomly speak. But that's what he, he does, he randomly speaks. Um, these two globes are from a house that was an old Queenslander which was being demolitioned. Um, I do really well with the old um, light shades, the ones for the wall and the ceiling. The, the older the better. You can tell they're old because the glass is so thick, so thick. And um, all the others that I got over the other weeks, they're gone, all gone. Now, what I did this week also is because these were so cheap, I went down this line. Normally, you can't buy a record LP for under $5 at the markets. And at the garage sale yesterday, I got them for a dollar. They sell really well on eBay. I've never done it before. Um, so here we go. We've got Dr. Hook. We've got Neil Diamond. We've got another Neil Diamond. We've got, oh, I thought that was Elvis Presley and it's Presley style, so I was pretty sucked into that one, wasn't I? I've got Rod Stewart. I have got Elvis Presley. I have got the Bee Gees. Um, Johnny O'Keefe, I'm not 100% sure about him. Um, green, Green Grass of Home. I actually, I actually grabbed that one because that was my father's favourite song. I, I don't have a record player, so it will be sold. Um, oh, they're just shirts for Jeffrey for work. Um, these are the more modern lights, but new, they sell for 35 each, 35 each. So um, if I got 20 for both of them, I'd be pretty damn happy. 25 I'd go. Now these, these are solid door handles. And they're the seahorse. They're really, really solid. Now look them up on eBay and they go for an astronomical amount of money. There's only four in there. Now that is just a quick, this I picked up, but I'm not selling it. I'm putting it away for my grandson. So, and the ponchos, well, Jeff just got them for work. He got the mouse for himself. He's a little bit spoilt this week. I don't know how he got away with buying stuff. So, as you can see, everyone, that's my haul for this weekend. This is my favourite. I've put some of it already on eBay. Um, and I'll just put it on bit by bit. Uh, I do like the, the beer steins. And I do like him. I'll let you know if I like Thomas the Tank, how well he'll sell, and the records. I do have quite a few records, but I got them because they're only a dollar. And as I said, most of the places sell them for $5 at the market. So there you go. That's my haul. Now I'm off to go up the mountain, have a beer or two, and enjoy this. I, I mean, that was just a score because I didn't even know it was Avon. I actually picked it up for myself. So there you go everyone. This is just a quick one this weekend. Um, check out my eBay page. I'm sure Case will put it in for me because I never know how to do it. So thanks everyone and have a great Sunday. Oh, don't forget the thumbs up. Bye.